Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the CEO of Cerna Home Care. I'm here in our Plano office with Maria Viegas. She is the expert in incontinent supplies. So Maria, a lot of people ask, and I do as well, what's the difference between a brief and pull-up underwear? Okay, so um, as you see the brief, um, it has the little flaps right here. Um, this one would be best for a person that is not um, mobile, um, so like a bed-bound person, um, this would be really beneficial to. And these look like baby diapers, so most of us have changed babies, kind of the same yeah. thing. Okay. very simple. Got it. And the underwear, as they call it, is more of a pull-up. Yes. So this would be somebody who is mobile. Yes. And do they have to be in a standing position to put these on? Um, they don't have to. You can, you know, maneuver yourself to try to get it on there, but um, it would be better, you know, if they are in a standing position, just pull them up, and they're fairly easy to use. So. Okay, so less mobile, they're going to be a brief. Yes. More mobile, they're going to be a pull-up. Okay. Got it. Now, the underpads, which we call chucks, mm -hmm. when would you use this? Um, I would use that for any client that has some type of incontinence, um, whether it's just in the day or at night, um, but I would suggest it for a uh, you know, for all of the clients. Um, okay. Is this typically incontinence for leakage? Yes. Do there Are there times when somebody wouldn't be wearing a, 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 an incontinence product and they would just be on this? Um, I would just suggest that, you know, if they do have any incontinence issues at all, um, just so you won't, you know, mess up their sheets and then have to pick them up and change Got all it. their bed and all that. So, okay. Um, I would suggest and these are fairly inexpensive and, and throw away, right? Yeah, you can just throw them away. You don't have to worry about washing them or anything. Here we've got the gloves, and like you had said, you would prefer the vinyl versus the latex. Why would that be? Why would somebody want vinyl? Um, there are just so many people out there that are allergic to latex, like myself, so um, I would prefer vinyl, and we do provide those in different sizes. Got it. Okay, and that's powder free, so I think you said you don't have to wash your hands afterwards. Yes, you don't have to worry about all the powder sticking to your hands or any of that. So. Okay, I also noticed we have some different types of wipes. One says flushable, one is disposable. What is the difference? Yes, well, um, obviously the um, disposable ones, the flushable ones, you can just toss them in the toilet, just flush it, and you're good to go. All um, right, that sounds like the way to go, right? Yeah. That way they're not stinking up the trash. <laughs> I agree. And this one is disposable but not flushable. Yes, um, but these are uh, more of like a washcloth, so um, they uh, do have a deeper uh, cleansing to you. So I would oh, okay. This so this would be more for this would do a better job cleaning, but not flushable. Yes. Got it. And lastly, over here we've got the ointment. So why, when, and why would you use this? Um, you know, for every um, change that you're doing with your client, um, you know, they start noticing some redness. I would go ahead and start using that to prevent any sores from happening. Um, and it really is a lifesaver, so I would recommend it. Okay, well, thank you, Maria. You certainly are the incontinence expert. <laughs> thank you, Nick.